Hi, I'm Tamitha Scove with your solar storm update via mobile. We are anticipating the impact of a solar storm on the 26th sometime after noonish uh, today, but that's not the only thing that's uh, exciting this week. We've actually had three M-class flares in the past couple days, uh, a 5.9, a 2.0, and a 3.9 from regions 2151 and 2146, the latter of which has spawned a new earthward-directed solar storm. But there's a little bit of confusion as to whether or not this is actually going to hit us. Uh, the NOAA and NASA models show that it's going to miss us uh, off to the west, but when we look at coronagraphs, you can see that green-blue halo. That actually shows that we might actually get hit by this storm, so we're not exactly sure. But if the impact happens, it should be on the 28th. So this week, as you can see at high latitudes, we're expecting possible major storm possibilities. Uh, and at mid latitudes, we're expecting minor storm possibilities. So there should be some really good chances for Aurora this week, but also your GPS navigation and any satellite services might be affected. Also, NOAA has upped the M-class threat to 55% uh, with hot regions like 2151 and 46, those are the ones to watch. And we do have a slightly elevated uh, proton radiation levels right now. It's below the S1 threat level, so we're not officially at a radiation storm, but the levels are elevated, but they should return to normal levels uh, sometime around the uh, uh, Thursday or maybe Friday. And uh, we have a watch going on for the rest of the week because we do still have a chance for X-class flares and obviously then other proton radiation storms. So this would be an exciting week and expect a, an updated uh, forecast, an official forecast with much more details coming in the next few days or so. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.